Hey everyone, I'm Anna Jalosky. After decades of research, we now know that it is good for your brain to know another language, maybe even a third. Knowing a second language can certainly catapult your social and cultural experiences. And not so long ago, researchers were able to show that babies who were bilingual tend to be faster and smarter. I'm just gonna dust myself off here in the shoulders. But how does being bilingual affect your brain? A new study gives some insight, focusing on bilingual patients suffering from Alzheimer's disease. The conclusion is interesting. Knowing a second language may help offset some of those effects from degenerative brain disorders. The team studied brain MRIs from 94 patients, some of whom spoke only one language, spoke more than one language, and two other groups suffering from Alzheimer's who spoke one or more languages. Scientists were particularly interested in language and cognition control areas in the frontal regions of the brain. One thing researchers noticed is that the tissue thickness and density in these regions was greater than it was in the monolingual patients. Cognitive reserve was found in the patients with Alzheimer's who did in fact speak more than one language. That makes sense. Being bilingual can certainly improve function, attention, cognitive skills, and how fast we can switch between tasks. Learning a new language exposes our brains to different ways of thinking about grammar and syntax, and we're also strengthening our ability to speak and understand language as a whole. In children, it's called the theory of mind development, that different experiences are going to lead to different thoughts and understandings. And studies have shown rapid development in these areas in bilingual children. 20% of Americans are bilingual, and 50% of Europeans are bilingual, with English mostly serving as the second language. This isn't surprising as English is without a doubt the universal language spoken in 70 countries. It is the second largest native speaking language after Mandarin, which is spoken by 955 million people. Wow. Za drugi novosti ve molime posjetite na našata stranica acsh.org. Isto tako ako sakate se kojdnevni novosti vo vaši od email. If you watch my videos, you'll know what to do. For the Council, I'm Anna Jalosky.